now that the season is near its end, we are getting a lot of transfer rumors. So this video is about a roundup of all the major transfer news we had this week. So let's begin with the squad clear out. The first news we got is about Ineos willing to sell most of the club. They have basically said that almost all of the players are, are for sale, except three. Garnacho, Menu, and Hoyrin. If, in my opinion, I would include more players, I would say Onana won't be sold, Martinez won't be sold, and Fernandez won't be sold. That's just my opinion. But these three won't be sold. Outside of these three, the posts are saying that almost anyone can be sold. So let's look at who is most likely to be just let go out of the club first. One would be Varan. He's out of contract. He is one of our highest paid players. And I think Ineos is trying to reduce our weight bill. So he is not getting his contract renewed. So he is gone. Next is Martial, another one who's one of our highest paid players. He has barely featured this season. I don't even know where he is. And he looks to be on his way out. After that is Amrabat. He was on loan. He is gone. Evans was a one-year signing. He has played really good for us. A really good backup option. But I don't know if we are going to keep him or not. After that, we have Brandon Williams, who is currently on loan. And he's out of contract. He's gone. He didn't. Our third choice goalkeeper. He is also out of contract in the summer and might be on his way out. So that's six players who are out of contract in this summer. Baran, Martial, Amrabat, Evans, Heaton and Brandon Williams. Six players, gone. Next comes up who is likely to be sold. First on the list is of course Jadon Sancho. Even though he's performing well in the Champions League, he's not doing that well in the Bundesliga. And a lot of reports are coming out that even if Ten Hag gets sad, Sancho doesn't want to come back to uh, United. And... At this point, United is looking to sell him for 30-40 million. Dortmund is not willing to pay for it, but they might negotiate. If you have liked my video so far, then I would really appreciate it if you can click on the like and subscribe button below to be part of the community and to be notified of the future uploads. Next person likely to be sold is Christian Eriksen. He has been saying in interviews that he is unsatisfied with the game time. And given his performances where he has been outpaced in most of the games, I think he's likely to leave. There is an interest in Ericsson from Turkey. So I think that's his, that's one of his next destination. Next, likely to be sold Casemiro. Again, one of the highest paid players at the club. This year, he has really been very disappointing. And given his age, his weight, and there is actually definite interest in both from Saudi and from Turkey. So let's see if he can be sold or not because even if we sold Casemiro we need to buy two defensive midfielders even with Casemiro we needed one more but if Casemiro gets sold we need two more so I don't know how that's gonna happen and next we on the list is Greenwood Greenwood is getting interest from two clubs Atletico Madrid and Juventus both of them really like the player both of them are willing to negotiate but I think the final point will be the price point how much would he be sold for? Because United is asking for 30 40 million. Juventus wants to pay around 10 20 million. So there's a wide gap. And whether it's going to be a player plus uh, cash deal or whether it is going to be put in negotiation, but it looks likely that Greenwood is going to leave. Moving on to the next top of players is like if there's a good price, they'll be gone. Bisaka. As we have all seen that. Even though Bissaka was really good in the first half of the season, second half he hasn't been that well because of injuries and stuff. So, I think he's on his way out. Especially with a link to Tim Pong, who majorly plays on the right, I would say right mid, not even right back. But yeah, there's links to Tim Pong. And I think if the right price comes in for Bissaka, Bissaka might be sold. And next comes up, uh, Donny Mandeby. I'm really sad about Donny's career since he has joined United because he was on the Ballon d'Or list. He was linked to Real Madrid. He came to United with dreams. He never complained. And his career has gone down here. So I really hope he can be sold for his own sake. I don't know if his loan gets uh, made into a permanent one. But I think he will be sold. If the right price comes in. Which might be around like 5 million. After that is uh, Lindelof. Lindelof has been a really good backup option. And people feel that he is not up to the quality of United. So, once again, right press comes in, we might see him then club four. Next comes about three youngsters. Anibal Mabry, his loan and semi hasn't worked out, but I think if the right press comes in, 
which might be around like 5-10 million, he might be gone. Pellistri, who has been doing uh, pretty well at Granada. And he has been looking for game time for a long time. And there has been a lot of interest with him ever since he has joined us. So it's very likely that he will leave. And after that comes Alvaro Fernandez. That's the saddest one, I think. Because we haven't had a left back for so long this season. Then we have a good prospect in the youth, Alberto Fernandez, who had been playing well. We bring him back in January, then we send him out to Benfica on loan again. Not only did we send, we send him out, we also included a buy clause only for 6 million euros. And reports are saying that Benfica are going to trigger that to keep him. Like, that's just such bad business. Like, selling a good prospect, I'll let back when we need one, currently need one. And now he's going to be sold to Benfica and probably get sold for 50 million after two or three years. That's just really stupid. There are reports that there's going to be a buyback loss in the Alvaro Fernandez deal, but I don't know how expensive that will be. Now comes Maguire and McTominay. These two are probably our most sellable assets. Both have played a lot of games at an international level. Both of these players are on their last year of contract, and both of these players can be sold for a lot of money. So, the news for both of these is that United will keep them if they accept lower wages. McTominay has his most prolific season yet. He has like around 12 points. Maguire has been playing pretty well. So I think we can get around 30 million each at the low ball. I think Maguire, 30 million is fine. McTominay should be sold for around 40 50 million. If Mount can be sold for 55 million, McTominay can easily be sold for 40 45 million. But I don't know who's going to pay. The most likely destination might be West Ham. And for both Maguire and uh, McTominay, they even had an offer last year. But I think they might be sold because I don't think they're going to accept a lower salary. After this comes the two prospective sellings. Not two, but like one of the two. Malaysia or Shaw. There have been a lot of reports. Even Fabrizio has said that we're going to get buy a left back. So, either Malasia gets sold or Shaw gets sold. Now, in this case, Malasia was great in the first season when he joined us. This season, we haven't even seen him. The reports are saying that he has had relapse and injuries more than a couple of times. And that's mismanagement of a medical department once again. As for Shaw, Shaw has missed 44% of the games since he has joined us. As great as Shaw is, he is not reliable. I don't know which one, and even if we sell Malasia, I don't think he sells for a lot because we we ourselves bought him for like 12 million euros. As for Shaw, he might sell for quite a bit, but I don't think he's going to be sold. I think it's going to be Malasia if we are to sell one of the left backs. Now comes the point of rumors about selling players. The first rumor is about Bruno. Bruno in the midweek came out with some quotes saying that if he is to leave the club, he'll think about after the euros. And I think that's like a normal statement to give in an interview. But we don't know if that's going to be true or not. After this interview, there have been reports that Barca is looking to buy Bruno Fernandes. And I think Bruno will really win that system. I don't want Bruno to be sold. I think Bruno is very integral to the squad and its success in the next season. If we are to sell Bruno, it has to be after the next season. When we have more fans available for a camp. But that's one of the transfer rumors. Next is about, of course, Rashford. Rashford has not been popular with the fans this season and his performances have been disappointing continuously. The only problem here is his contract. He signed a contract at the start of this season or like end of last season. He's on huge salary, our highest paid player. The only place he can go if you have to sell him is PSG or Saudi Arabia. I don't think he goes to Saudi at his age. Only option left, PSG. The thing with PSG is there are reports that PSG are not looking to buy or like they have cooled their interest in Rashford. So what's going to happen? I think he stays at the club. I don't think it's possible to send him in the summer, especially with his contract. And last, let's talk about the manager as well. There are a lot of rumors surrounding Ten Hag right now. Is that first, Ineos is going to decide on Ten Hag only after the FA Cup final. They're not going to give him like a assurance of keeping him until they pick a final. 
So the first rover built regarding Tenag is of course Ajax. Ajax is in a crisis lab right now. Their manager is sacked or going to be sacked. They're looking for a new manager. And the reports are saying that the manager or like the director of Ajax is waiting for Tenag. Is that he'll wait a month or two to see where Ten Hag goes, if he stays or he if he gets sacked, and then he'll approach him for Ajax. Second news is the more newsworthy. After Ragnik has rejected Bayern, and Tuchel is going to leave, they've already decided. Now the rumors are saying that Bayern are looking to hire Ten Hag. If Ten Hag gets fired from United, Bayern will move for him. He's one of the top manager candidates and that should tell the fans something. If a club like Bayern, who have a really good structure, who have a, who are a really, really strong club, if they are looking at someone like Ten Hag to do their rebuild, to take the club forward, why are we as fans looking to get him fired? Now let's talk about who are we gonna buy. Most of the reports are saying that United are gonna be limited by the FFP, but Ingers are willing to put in hundred million. Above 100 million, whatever we are going to spend, it has to be through player sales. So that already indicates that we are going to sell a lot of the squad. The first player on the list that we are probably going to look at is Rabiot. We have been linked to Adrian Rabiot for the last two seasons. Tenag really likes him and he's going to be a free agent. Free agent is going to be a really good market for him the end of this season. And Rabiot is going to be one of the top targets. He is a really established central midfielder. He has played at club level for really long. He played for France really long and he can be someone who brings a lot of composure and technical ability. So that's one of the players. Next comes centre back. So as we are talking that Varane might leave, Maguire might leave, Lindelof might leave, Emmins might leave. So it's obvious that they're gonna be linked to more than a few centre backs. And currently there are more than four or five players linked. First is Todibo, as we have all known that since last season. He has been linked to us. He is from Nace, who is also owned by Sir Jim Ratcliffe. So we might get a cheaper deal. So, of course, Todibo. Next is a more of a future buy or like a future planning. It's a young, talented centre back from um, Boca Juniors, Argentina, and Selmino. I don't know much about him. And he seems like a future buy. You know, like how we bought Ganacho at a young age and then he came to the academy. So, he, this might be a similar one. Next up is Tosin Atrabayo from Fulham. He is also going to be a free agent. He has confirmed it with Fulham that he's going to leave. So, another good centre-back who is available for free and who has been playing pretty well. So, he can be a pretty good squad option. Next comes a little bit of a far-fetched rumour that Ronald Araujo from Barca is one of the assets that they might have to sell because of all the debt and cash issues that Barca have. So, I don't think this is a valid rumor. I think it's just a, you know, one of the weird rumors that we have every summer. If we actually do end up buying Arau, I think that's one of the deals of the summer. But I, but I don't think it's going to happen. Even if it does happen, it's going to be very, very expensive. So one of the left back we have been linked to is Miguel Gutierrez. He is a young left back from Girona, and he has been playing pretty well. He's 22 years old. And he's one of the top left backs in the La Liga this season. The issue with this deal is that Madrid have a buyback clause. So in case Madrid doesn't go for Alfonso Davies this season as a monkey signing, there are reports that Madrid are more likely going to trigger the buyback clause and get Gutierrez back into the club. In case that doesn't happen, I think this is one of the ones to keep an eye on because he's a very talented, only 22 years old. And I think he can be a pretty good option for a left back. And to me, I don't know what's going to happen to him. I don't think he's going to get sold because, once again, high wages, long contract. But we have been linked to Alise. Michael Alise from Crystal Palace. He's really young, really creative. He has a release clause in his contract, but I think it's going to be more than 60 million, around 70 million or even higher. So a very expensive, young English talent. We have all seen this story before with Sancho. But the difference is, Olise has been playing in the Premier League for a long time. Now, one of the issues I have with this signing is that Olise is very injury prone, very injury prone. And he has injuries which are like long term, which rules him out for like months. But if he can stay fit, I think he might be a really, really good buy. 
and finally this is not a player but a very important signing for the club dan ashworth from newcastle the stories have been that newcastle have made it really difficult for him to leave leave the job and they have been asking for like 15 to 20 million from united to to release him so now at this point there are rumors that that ashworth is taking newcastle to arbitration what that basically means is that he's going to put them in the court say that newcastle are treating him unfairly and try to get him released on like a very low very cheap price so in addition to this rumors are that in yours is willing to pay for the arbitration fees for ashworth so that's very interesting in case ashworth joins us late in august or something jason wilcox is going to take over the some of the transfer business right who to buy when to buy what price to buy in case the arbitration gets done quickly ashworth is the one who's going to decide who to buy when to buy a lot of rumors and these rumors are only going to increase as the time goes on because a rebuild is going to happen whether the manager whether the squad but a lot of changes are going to happen at the club throughout all the levels hierarchy you know management the players everything is going to change so it's going to be very exciting summer for united fans in different ways let me know in the comments down below who would you like to sell in from the squad and who would you like to buy for united in december who you think will be your vital signing if you have liked my videos so far and i would really appreciate it you can click on the like and subscribe button below and if you want to see how bad we were in the burnley game then you can click the video right here i will see you all again after the next uh, match i think it's against crystal palace thank you for watching my video goodbye